we invite our viewing audience to send us your questions. Our toll-free number is 1-888-290-5363. You can also send us your questions via email at readytonet at csumb.edu. We're actually now going to see an example of electronic portfolio, I'm sorry, an electronic portfolio tool that's currently being used by students and faculty at the University of Washington in Seattle. Joining us from the University of Washington is Tom Lewis, Director of the Educational Technology Development Group. Tom, please tell us about ePortfolios and how they're being used at the University of Washington. Thanks Thank for joining us. Thanks, Casey. I'd like you to just go ahead and take a look at some of what we've done with the Catalyst Portfolio tool on this video. This is the Portfolio Tool main interface that a student sees when they log in. Uh, they can keep just about anything in the Portfolio Tool. This is a, a picture. Also, they can keep in uh, sound files uh, like these. Uh, they can put in links to, cat to uh, websites and uh, various other things. Uh, this is a career portfolio that I created in the tool. And it goes through and uh, talks about the kinds of work that I've been doing. I have a couple of different pages down here at the bottom that show off two different skill sets that I have. Um, web design and sound design and music. You can see our authoring tool. If I click on web design, um, basically it's just a uh, kind of like working with Legos or other kinds of building blocks uh, to build a website. Once you're done working on your website or on your uh, portfolio, you can just go ahead and click the done button. You can save as you go along. And you might want to take these uh, kind of building blocky uh, kind of uh, pages that you've created and publish them to the uh, internet. Publishing is really simple in the Portfolio Tool. You just kind of click the Publishing button. What the Portfolio Tool does is it creates um, a nice looking professional web page uh, with that description that we were looking at earlier in the picture that we were looking at. Um, you see the two categories that I was showing off earlier, web design, sound design, and music. And if I click on the web design page that we were looking at before, it's taken all of those different blocks of information that I created and uh, put them onto a web page in a coherent, professional, easy to read manner students can collect anything they want over the course of their careers here uh, in the portfolio tool. They can build portfolios like the career portfolio that we looked at that demonstrate specific skills to outside audiences or even within the university. Or they can work with professors um, and advisors on campus, much like uh, this Drama 101 example, to uh, work on projects that help them produce portfolios of a specific kind. We hope, after uh, using this tool, figure out you know, what is this big pile of stuff that I've accumulated, what does my education uh, mean to me, and be able to express that to other people. The portfolio tool gives me a space online where I can collect all kinds of artifacts from JPEG files to movies to essays for different classes. And I can completely control who gets a chance to view these artifacts and design pages for them to be viewed. And it's a really convenient place for me to put all of these files. I think this is going to be a really great tool. Um, the students will be able to put all of their stuff into their my portfolio of all their experiences that they've had here at UW and I think it's going to be great not only for them to reflect on their college experience but also in their careers. This is one of our most important educational initiatives. The portfolio tool will not only enable students to collect their information in an electronic format, but enable them to reflect on it and interact with their professors over the content of that material. It is a critical tool in advancing undergraduate education here at the University of Washington, and we see it as a tool that others could use as well. The value of the tool is giving them a place, a place to go and a place to collect information and a place to reflect on that information. This is a very exciting opportunity and we're delighted to launch it. Great. Thanks, Tom. That was an interesting video, both to see yours but also to hear the student voices and the student enthusiasm for portfolios.